It makes it a lot easier because the day you bought it is the day it expires, so it makes it a lot better. It's saving money, too. Also this tonight, California is looking to reel in money when it comes to those hooked on fishing. Right now, the state sells licenses that expire at the end of the year, no matter when you buy it. But a new bill passed by the Senate could change all that. New tonight, CBS 13's Unser Hassan is live at Folsom Lake with more on how this bill could impact fishermen. Unser. Yeah, Shirin, the fishing industry generates $4.5 billion for California's economy, but there's been a big drop in the sale of fishing licenses. So this new bill will try and make it easier for fishermen to get their license and generate money for local governments. Chow Selly may have just caught dinner. He and his family come to Folsom Lake to fish for black bass, sometimes two to three times a week. He likes the new changes being proposed to the state's fishing license. Sometime by July, next, next year, July, yeah, yeah, yeah. could be better. Currently at $47, California has the most expensive fishing license in the U.S., 76% more expensive than the national average. At the same time, there's also been a 55% drop in the number of people getting their fishing license over the past 35 years, leaving California with the lowest recreational fishing rate per capita in the country. That's also lost revenue. SB 187 seeks to reverse course. Salmon fishing. Okay. Love it. It's a big fight, big fish. Even 16-year-old Aaron Sanchez, who comes up from Stockton with his family, says there are benefits with the proposed legislation. It makes it a lot easier because the day you bought it is the day it expires, so it makes it a lot better. It's saving money, too. Money and jobs is a big part of the motivation behind the change as well. The bill's author, Senator Tom Berryhill, says, quote, this bill would not only improve access to recreational fishing, it would also protect California jobs dependent on outdoor tourism. Now, the bill has broad support from labor and business groups. Any additional money generated from these increased sales will help fund fisheries and conservation programs. Sharin? All right, Unser, thank you for that report tonight.